Um, pillars are something that we came up with as um, a, a whole district, um, and they're things to focus on to kind of help drive um, what we're doing in the blending, blended learning. So we have, um, we're not just, you know, throwing technology in there. We have a purpose for everything that we're doing. Um, so that's, that's across the board, science, math, um, all grade levels, we're all focusing on the same pillars. Our pillars are data-driven instruction, um, um, agency, so student agency over their process and their progress, um, personalized learning, and rigor and competency. So those are our four pillars. Data-driven instruction in my class starts with map data at the beginning of the year, and I looked at that, and that kind of told me the, the map data told me that I needed to do some whole group instruction this year. That's what led me to decide the whole group was going to be something that I definitely needed. Last year, I chose to do more uh, small groups and individualized rotations based on the map data. And then on a day-to-day -day basis, because we, don't, we only do map data three times a year, and so we have it from the beginning. And then now I'm looking at data based on their math game scores, their homework, um, informal discussions, and things like that, to behavior is a huge one uh, that I look at, to work on groupings and things that I might need to reteach or uh, if I need to pull a small group of individual students. So student agency in my classroom works with the checklist. They're able to uh, take that checklist and work through it in their way, in their pace. It's not in any particular order, and they get to choose the must-dos, may-dos in the order that they do them in. And I have students that will go back and decide to work on a TEAK from last six weeks, or um, we call them I can statements, and work on those so that they can improve. They know the things that they struggle in, and so that's a student agency piece in my room. Personalized learning uh, really kind of goes with a checklist as well. It's personalized on the fact that I have looked at what TEKS have flagged for these students, and that's the assignments that I've given them on math games. And so they're quick, easy assignments for the most part, um, just kind of uh, almost your drill and kill type worksheets, but it, they're online and it's something quick just to keep those skills in their minds. And they, I choose those standards that I use based on their data. So the COMC pro progression in my classroom, uh, once I start geometry, that's going to be a big one that uh, COMC progression is seen. That unit, uh, students are able to move through it on their own in a way that they choose because they get to choose the order of the lessons and they get to choose to test out in things in geometry. Um, in my algebra units, the COMC progression is just a day to day. Can they, if they get through it throughout the week, if they finish everything they must do by Wednesday, then Thursday and Friday is theirs to choose what may do's uh, that they, on their checklist that they want to do.